I had two really remarkable blessings in my life. One was my grandfather at that time. My grandfather grew up in South Carolina in a very different time. He, he was born in 1921 in a segregated South that was hard to handle. But he was the man who believed that all things were possible in America. He didn't see it all unfold at the exact same time. But when I moved into his house at seven years old, one of the lessons he taught me, it was a very important lesson. He said, son, you can be bitter or you can get better, but you can't be both. And that man believed then, what some seem to doubt now, he believed in the goodness of what America could be. And he lived long enough to watch his grandson pick out a seat in the United States House. And I love And when I look to my left, I mean the radical left, the one thing I see is they refuse to accept the progress of America. That who we were then is not who we are now. They want us as the American people to believe that somehow we are an evil and declining nation. That's a lie. We are the land of opportunity, not the land of oppression. But my mother, the second major blessing of my life, when, when she was just gosh, much younger than I am today, she had this conviction that if you shot for the moon, even if you missed, you could be among the stars. If I heard that one time growing up, I heard it a thousand times. But in today's America, President Biden and the radical left would have you believe that we are a country in decline, that we are a country in retreat. We are a country in retreat under President Biden. But the American people are strong and optimistic. The goodness of the American soul is what my mother and my grandfather depended on during some of the hardest times in our lives. And the one thing I can say about being an American is I am so proud to be an American. Amen. I'm so proud to be an American. It is time for a change in America. I believe that the best is yet to come. I know that America is not finished yet. I believe that God still has his hand on the city, on the hill. That America is still the beacon in the midst of darkness. And one of my first acts as President of the United States will be to stand up for this nation by closing our southern border. I believe that America's national vital interest is in degrading the Russian military. I think the more we decimate the military of Russia, the less likely we are to have attacks on the homeland. The fact that we can do it without American troops on the ground is absolutely essential. Making sure that our NATO allies that are contiguous with Ukraine are also safer means that we have less likelihood of having to send men and women into harm's way. And so if I can continue to decimate the Russian military, I would do that. I would do that, however, with this one asterisk or caveat. We don't send unlimited resources, unchecked resources, anywhere. We have to have accountability, and we need to know where every dollar goes. Without that level of responsibility, it is irresponsible to keep doing what we see being seen done today. The one thing that we have to do with Medicare is to start paying for outcomes and not just transactions. Today, we don't measure quality of care anywhere in government. We need to start doing that. If we started measuring quality outcomes, we would have a more fiscally responsible system.